But we're just double checking everything, make sure we have all the parts, make sure we have all the inventory. I like to take extra bands, extra 22s, extra 45s, just in case we drop a cast iron pipe or we crack it, we have an extra fitting. It doesn't prolong us to the next following day. Alright guys, it's 9 o'clock. A USC called me yesterday, told me, Marcos, we have a major flood, it's leaking everywhere. Yes, the cast iron pipe was backed up and it was cracked. We went over there, got a part list right away. I called Johnny at PWO. I need X amount of parts. I gave him a whole list, I texted him. He delivered the parts, called PWO. But anyway, going back to USC, we're gonna replace about 90 feet of pipe, open up some walls, get access, there's AC ducking. It's gonna be a job. That's one thing I can tell you guys, it's definitely gonna be a job, it's gonna be a lot of work. But there's nothing that we can't do here at Clean Up. We are doing HAR. Going that way. That's all you guys gonna replace. Oh, that 45? Everything, the whole six inch. Yeah, yeah that from that 45, all that. Over here, this way, all the way back here. Okay. All the way. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, guys. So you can see, we have a six-inch pipe coming out. Some major cracks are here on top. Look at the cracks on top of this pipe. It's completely, completely cracked. So what happened is uh, the line backed up, and obviously the DWV pipe drain waste and vent and not pressurized pipes. So everything flooded down there. Yeah, all the water came down. Doesn't matter. So we're gonna change out all this cast iron all the way to the back. Change out all the stacks going up to the 90s. Um, it's gonna be a job. We're gonna do what we can do. We're gonna do what we can. And get this job going, so um, I'll keep you guys updated. Look at that, it's crazy. One guy measuring, one guy cutting, one guy fitting, and the other guy disposing. And everybody's just a big circle, you know what I mean? Why? Come on. J. Yeah. It's a lot harder. The most important thing in these jobs is preparation. Make sure we have a game plan, make sure we know who the pipe fitters are, the guys that are measuring and cutting, get everything going, we're gonna have the guys going up. And not only that, this six inch pipe is very heavy. So you can imagine carrying the pipe, trying to be in the ladder, there's no way. It's very unsafe, so we set up a scaffolding here, so that was nice and secure for the guys to work up there. And uh, we have to get the job done tonight because they have class tomorrow at 6 a.m. Get them flushing and get this whole unit going by uh, the time is right now 10.30. I'll see by 3 a.m. We should be done. Cleaned up by 4. We're out of here. Ahí está. Listo. 
Então ela sabe o que Não vem, não vem, não vem, não vem. Six inch wide and a six inch twenty two. Make sure we have it. Can we see those parts? <laughs> We torque these bands at 80 pounds of pressure, so that way these bands never fall off, they never leak. The mission bands at uh, the 80 pound torque, so what I'm doing right now, I did tighten, we tighten it up with a drill, but not tight where it's obviously tight, tight. We tighten it up where it's tight, and then uh, we get the torque wrench. We give it two clicks, one, two, and then T1, two, it's ready. Grab it. Here, it is really important to strap these pipes down. There's six inch cast iron pipes. It's a lot of liability hanging these pipes off because just if an earthquake happens or anything happens, these pipes will shake. So you want to make sure that they're very secure. Not only that, not only secure, but they're graded quarter inch per foot. If they're not graded quarter inch per foot, the water's not gonna drain. It's in a bad grade or belly, or, or you know, it's, it's not gonna go down properly. What's gonna happen? It's not gonna back up right away, but within a year, maybe two years, with all the urine and all the waste coming up in the toilet paper, it will uh, start uh, creating uh, soft luggage in the future. So the whole point of doing these repairs, doing it once, doing it right, so the customer never, never has to worry about it again. That's the whole purpose of repairing a pipe. Not just repairing it to temporarily fix it, we're here to fix it permanently. So for this pipe, it lasts them another 50 years. When plan A don't work, you always have to have a plan B. If plan B don't work, you have to figure out plan C. No, it's got With plumbing, nothing ever goes smooth. It's always something. It's part of it. I mean, if you panic and you you start freaking out because things go wrong, that's when the team starts breaking up. The whole point is when things go bad, create a game plan and figuring it out as a team. So, Whoa. see these guys are here. Look at see them. that. Jesus. <laughs> well, see, that, that's what I'm talking about right there, teamwork. It's, a, it's all about team. If you don't have the right team, things won't get done. So see right now we walk in, these guys are disposing pipe. These have guys, we have guys right now pipe fitting, we have guys measuring pipe, we have guys spraying pipe, these guys are disposing it. And at the same time, I'm going up, I'm going down. But that makes the job easier for everybody. It makes it go smoother, faster, and that's why we get these jobs done in an eight hour day. It's a, it's a job that's that's gonna take at least two two days minimum to get this job done. But when you schedule it right and you, you plan it right, things go smoothly. Like right now, everything's going very smooth, just as planned. So we'll go from there. I so said plan B is to figure it out with this. If not, then we have plan C, but look at that. See that? Now we can figure it out. It's right there. 
The plan B didn't work. We already got plan C. We got, we got this guy here figuring things out already. That's, 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 that's what I'm talking about. It's, it's all about planning and teamwork. It's like me as the owner, I don't know everything. And as much as I would want to know everything, I don't. I learned from him. I learned from you. I learned from everybody. We all learn things every single day. I've been doing this for 17 years and I still learn every day. In this trade, you'll never stop learning. If you say that you know everything and you know how to do everything, you're lying to yourself. You're not growing. You have to let that ego go and just keep moving and learn from people, learn from everybody. It's very important. You know, so. So that is, those are the snap cutters right there. With those snap cutters, you will get a precise fitment. You'll never go wrong with it. You'll never get a leak. But this is where it gets a little complicated, guys. <laughs> we have our guys in here right now. So then they're laying the pipe out right now, installing it. And like I said, it's very, very important. Safety is first, respiratory masks. This is old cast iron pipe. This pipe's about 50, maybe 80 years old. It's very, very old. All right, guys, so we just got this pipe done right now. Check this out. Now you tell me how they've been draining for this long. No. Look at that. We had four. They've literally been draining. They didn't find they, they didn't find out that this pipe was cracked or damaged until it backed up. The sewer line backed up, everything backed up. The entire drainage system, which is these pipes, they're not pressurized pipes, they're DWV pipes, drain waste and vent. So what happens is when the line backs up, the line fills up with water. So when it fills up with water, what's gonna happen there? Take a guess. It leaks. Look at all the rust in there, it's completely <laughs> deteriorated. And uh, the pipe is completely, look at, there's rust spots everywhere, there's cracks on the top, this pipe is gone. So keep in mind guys, it is about 60 to 80 years old, it's a very old pipe. USC is an old building. We have buildings here that are over 102 years old. Yeah. Ooh, look at, look at that. Look at that big old crack on top. Right, let me take a picture of this right here. Hold on. I'm done. You done? Yeah. yeah, I told you, plumbers back in the days were buff. Plumbers nowadays like cackles at night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? What kind of meat do you want? Uh, sala. mediation out here cut all the water damage out open it up and expose it so that way we gain access to repair this pipe change out all the fittings all the way to the top we do have a 45 another 45 and how we're gonna get up there I don't know but we'll figure it out and here we have another six by two inch wide all the way to the top you can see right there the combi is completely broken so uh, like I said we're gonna we're gonna change everything out guys we'll figure it out all the way to the back Hold on. Uh, one, two, three. Ready? One, two, one. Do it just together. Yo, yo, do it for Pull the drill. Huh? 
Let me go all the way to the top. Come Ay, ay, ay. Dale vuelta. Ay, 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 ay. Ok. Déjame para que esa es la medida. Déjame quitar esto de aquí. Déjamelo. Déjame quitar de aquí porque no me puedo sacar un pelo. Ok. Está muy largo. Ya me quedo. All right, guys. So right here, we're only gonna we were supposed to change up to before this combi right here. But we found that there's a cancer spot right here. So see the cancer spot? That's gonna cause problems later in about the next year or two. It'll start leaking. So we're already here, and uh, we had to crawl in there. I don't know how our guys got in there right now. It's a tough one. But um, yeah, in there right now. It's a tough spot. There's a lot of lines in here. Mother. Insulation, insulation is super itchy. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, oh. Right there. Oh. 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 Here. Quick, quick, quick. Let's just, let's just no, I'm gonna grab this one quick. Hey, you know what? Okay, there's a pipa. It's important to put the drill on to tighten it up. But what does the trick is a torque wrench. 60 pounds of pressure. There you go. Uh -huh. I think that one we put it to the bottom. Si cae ahí. Alright. What kind of video? Okay, we're gonna see you later, sir. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. Ver otra vez. Oh, back ¿Tú ¿Tú no, no. Ah, yo, 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 espérate, joda. Tú métete primero y yo me escarro. Ahí. ¿Eh? Dale, güey. Ahí está, güey. Es really tight squeeze. Turn the cameras off. <laughs> and then turn it back on when we're on the floor. <laughs>